Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days so today uh, I'm gonna film or today I'm going to uh, provide the 12th episode of three types of star seeds so in this episode I'm actually gonna cover three more types of star seeds for uh, everybody to come to know and uh, this is kind of like a special edition because these aren't from these the beings in this uh, episode aren't purely from from outer space they're uh, more so inner earth beings they're uh, from inner earth okay but we're gonna go into all that once I get uh, into the video but let's uh, get right into it today's video is three types of star seeds number 12 Now, so all of the 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 beings that I'm going to cover in today's video, the, the three different beings, they're all from inner Earth, all right. But they all have um, extra terrestrial origins, so they come from from outer space, but. Uh, they pretty much had to uh, dwell within the earth only because as they uh, arrived here on the earth the the surface of the earth was uh, inhabited by uh, some of the first peoples during that time you know um, which were uh, called ebonoids okay because they're all dark pigmented peoples okay um, but let's get right into the first the, the first one so the first being in this episode is called the Shayuk or the Shiuk okay and uh, they're very very noble beings so they're more benefic in their nature you can say or just noble in their nature um, but but they're considered geniuses in comparison to to the the humans that were uh, on the surface of the earth at that time okay uh, so they're very 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 intelligent beings and they're considered geniuses uh, they also held telepathic and telekinetic abilities um, so they're appearance is uh they're very very they they're very dark-skinned people they're dark brown peoples you know uh they're kind of like like uh, like just very very dark brown melanated peoples you know um and and they're about five to seven feet so so like uh kind of an average surface dweller height you know, uh, and their brain or, or the top of their heads, they're very, very wide. Their, their brains are a lot bigger. Uh, their craniums are a lot bigger than, than the, uh, the surface dwellers at that time, the ebonoids. And, um, and their hair, they pretty much had afros, you know, like like very, very uh, dark, nappy 
afros okay and they had very very large heads uh and they're very dark skinned uh five to seven feet tall and and they're pretty much geniuses they held immense intelligence uh and they also had telekinetic telepathic abilities and and even more that um that i wouldn't be able to say or talk about so uh, i want to say their their dimensionality is probably third dimensional and higher okay only because they're inhabiting the the uh third dimensional space as physical beings but uh they also were were complex enough or intelligent enough to to access higher and lower dimensions as well uh their origins i don't really know their origins but uh i can make a theory that they probably come from some um I don't know, I want to say that that some outer station or, or maybe some other some type of uh, off earth facilitation uh, took the the surface dwellers the ebonoids may have uh, bred some type of, of hybrid with uh, some other extraterrestrials DNA you know and then and then um, put these people's inner earth you know uh that could be their origin but i never i never found out the star system that they're from um because they're very earthy you know they're not too far off of what we look like um but the the shiuk they're inner earth dwellers they live inner earth right but they do come to the surface and uh it's pretty much to teach and uh they share teachings with, with specific tribes okay um and and their teachings because they're geniuses because they're they hold immense intelligence and because they they originate from off earth um their teachings are so profound and and those who are taught by them the, the various aborigine tribes uh they considered these people's gods and deities when they would come to teach the tribe you know um they also have their own laws, uh, their own law system that prohibits uh, free contact with the surface only to uh, not get so entangled with, with the surface dwellers. Now, um, they have these laws, right, that prohibit them for, from free contact with the surface dwellers, but there's a lot of cases where, where uh, these peoples, the, the Shiuk peoples, they... Uh, they did mix in with the surface dwellers and uh, the peoples who you can find the, the uh, Shiyuk mixed in with nowadays we call them the, the Afar people uh, and you can look up this, uh, this tribe okay, or, or this type of people it's literally A-F-A-R Afar and uh, you can find uh, how you can find some of the the expression of a shiuk in in the afar people okay um they live in ethiopia somalia eritrea and djibouti okay um so that's a little bit on on the shiuk peoples all right uh, now the thing about it is since they've mixed in with the, the surface dwellers there's a lot of the genetics going around and if you have the genetic information of shiuk uh, then then you would be uh you would be you can say that you're a star seed of uh, a shiuk star seed you know because um you're you're pretty much born with the expression of a shiuk and uh and and their karmic path and their purpose throughout life you know so if you feel as though uh, Shiuk genetics are within you, then um, you kind of, you're a type of, of Shiuk starseed, okay? Now, the next one, the second being is also from Inner Earth. All three of these beings are Inner Earth beings, um, and they all connect together in, in a story as well, all right? But I'm not going to get into the story. Um, but the next ones, these ones are uh, called the 
the uh, sini sini uh, or sini or sini okay um, the name's hard to pronounce so I don't really know uh, but the sini or sini or sini they're also noble peoples so I'm guessing they're mainly benefic in their uh, inhabitation of inner earth and um, they're also very very highly intelligent peoples and they're also geniuses but uh, they have a fighting spirit okay so so they may also be warriors um, with their immense intelligence so they're also five to seven feet tall okay uh, and their complexions vary from yellow to brown so they're not only brown peoples they're not only very dark skin pigmented they're uh, also yellow uh, a little bit lighter to um, brown um, and they don't have any hair so so these peoples they're bald all right these peoples are bald and um, <laughs> and they have cone shaped heads and this is the most notable um, trait of their appearance is that is that they they literally have cone heads okay and I'm gonna get into um, how these are the the same peoples that they uh, that they talk about in the movie Coneheads, okay? But uh, I'm gonna save that a little bit towards the end of this one. So they're hairless, they have cone heads, they're five to seven feet, and their complexions vary from yellow to brown. And uh, they're very intelligent peoples, but they're also a type of warrior as well. Okay, um, now these peoples, they, they also interacted with the surface dwellers. Okay, they, they lived in her earth and they lived adjacent in the caverns to the, the Shiuk people, the first peoples. Um, so, so the two peoples knew of each other, okay, uh, as living in the cavern. Um, and, and they also, they interacted with, with the surface dwellers of that time and they mixed in with surface dwellers as well. And uh, some of the, the uh, surface peoples that the Sinim or Sinia or Sini mixed in or the Coneheads mixed in with were the Egyptians, the Olmecs, uh, and a few other ones. And this is why uh, if, you, if you look into some of these different tribes that they mixed in, you'll see peoples um, with very, very large cone heads, you know, either where they scratch them or um, they're kind of just born like that, you know, because... Uh, the Sinim also were, were known for uh, expertise in grafting, which is like a, a unique type of selective breeding. So um, you can find peoples throughout Egyptian, uh, you can find uh, Egyptian peoples and, and even Olmec peoples with like very, very uh, cone shaped heads or just like very elongated heads, you know. Um, and they're also, they're from the Conehead movie. So one thing about movies is that movies always portray some type of truth, okay? Each movie you can ever watch is gonna have some element of truth in it, okay? And, and what I see from, from these beings, these Coneheaded beings, um, the Conehead movies, if you've ever seen those movies, they're li it's literally about an extraterrestrial race who lives uh, on some planet, it may be Earth, I'm not too sure, I haven't seen the movie in quite some time, but uh, the movie is about these cone-headed beings, they're bald, and they're, they're literally like all yellow or pale, okay, and, uh, and they're, they're very, very intelligent, they're very weird as well, it's a very weird, bizarre movie, but uh, I'm, I'm sure of it, I'm sure that, that the movie Coneheads is based on these uh, peoples, these inner earth beings, the Sinim or the Sinia or the Sinia, Sini, okay? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the second race, the Sini or Sinia. Now, we can get into the last one, the... Oh yeah, and, and you can also have genetics of, of the Sinia also because they mixed in with with peoples of the surface, the Egyptians and the Olmecs and even more uh, peoples, then uh, there's a good chance you can you can also have the, the expression 
of, uh, of, of these beings as well. You can be um, a conehead, starseed, okay? Um, so that's always a good thing. That's always a cool thing, you know? You can hold some type of innate intelligence of a conehead in you. But, but if you want to see a representation or, or an appearance of, of that being, the second being, the conehead, just uh, look up into that movie, Coneheads, and that's exactly how, how these beings are, are uh, portrayed as well. So the last being is, uh, they're called the Sami, okay, Sami or Samin, and uh, these beings aren't uh, noble, they're not uh, benefic, they're wretched, okay, uh, they're malefic, um, so they're more like negative uh, evil entities. You know, but they're also inner earth beings. And these beings are also connected to the conehead beings. Um, they're grotesquely obese. Okay, so they're very, very like larduous or, or they're, they, they're, o they're overflowing with like lard, you know, they're very, very obese. They're very grotesque as well in, in, in how they um, express themselves. Uh, and they're very, very pale people. And their noses are, are very uh, overly mutated or they're, they're malformed. It, it looks like their nose is just like melted and it's just dripping all the way down to their chest. And then it kind of looks like an elephant nose, you know. So they're very, very over uh obese, you know, very, very wretched, um, very pale. Uh, they're also bald and they have elephant-like noses as well. Uh, very very weird beings um, very negative violent and aggressive once again they're wretched they're not um, noble beings and and um, I don't know if they're too intelligent or not but um, they're negative they're they're pretty much violent and aggressive uh, and and the thing about it is they're in connection with the coneheads in the way that uh, they were uh, manifested out of the coneheads Okay, so um, they're pretty much manifested evil, grafted out of the conehead beings on their home world prior to their arrival on Earth. Okay, so so the the whole reason that uh, that these three beings that are dwelling in Earth came to the Earth is because there was uh, destruction taking place on their home worlds, and um, they they pretty much uh, seek some type of inhabitation uh inner earth okay and and uh the the sami the the very grotesque people the uh, the over uh obese people they were grafted out of the cone heads okay and, and grafting is a type of a uh, unique selective breeding so the cone heads pretty much like um separated this this uh evil out of them you know uh through that process of grafting and um and the and the cone heads they hold the responsibility of of controlling and pretty much uh policing or or policing uh the sami beings the the over obese beings because they're very negative aggressive and violent uh the cone heads have to control them you know, and they, they have to uh, keep a check on them. They have to pol police them. And um, that's pretty much it for the, the three different beings. So what I wanted to say about, about the last one is that um, I'm sure uh, all three of these beings, they, um, they're most definitely genetically available within the average person only because each one has cases of, of mixing in with surface dwellers the cone heads mixing in with Egyptians and Olmecs for, for a few examples. The, uh, the, the Shiu people, the first peoples, the dark skin, Afro headed peoples with large heads, craniums, mixed in with uh, the Afar people, AFAR, and uh, the Sami. Um, it doesn't really say who they mixed in with, but I'm sure that uh, they were able to, to mix in with some surface dwellers. Okay, so. Uh, you can find, you may uh, find yourself being uh, inheritant of the genetics of a uh, 
Sami as well, uh, one of the, the wretched beings, the obese beings, um, violent and negative in their nature. Uh, and you can be a star seed in one of these. You can be a star seed to all of these beings, actually. Um, but it's all about, I want to say, trusting your intuition. If you, if you uh, know a little bit about your ancestry and, and travel it and, and follow it, uh, you may be able to find something that is connecting to these three different beings. You know, but that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, hope everybody did enjoy today, uh, this month's episode of three types of star seeds, all on inner earth beings. Uh, do all your own research once again. See what you can find. Comment down any information if you want to expand upon what I have going already, and uh, drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more daily content. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day and peace out.